fight before match. Habib Ahmed will fight for the super middleweight belt against Gilberto Ramirez, super welterweight, in February. And um, Richie Comey is still in the mix. How does 2018 look like for Ghana boxing, Frederick Lawson? It looks very bright because, you know, 2018 is going to be something great in Ghana boxing history. Because we're all going out there to bring what we have in there out. And we're almost there to the point to show, as a to what we have inside, what we learned over the years, and we're ready to bring it out to the world. So let's just, let's just have the support of Moral Cove in Ghana to bring it out to the world to see that we have this champion style. We're ready. How do you guys usually see each other? Do you see each other as rivals? Because Ghana is looking for a world champion. Everybody wants to be that guy who delivers the world title to Ghana. Or do you see, as Dobe has done now, the other person as a source of inspiration to the rest of you? Not at all. What he's done tonight has inspired me myself. Has inspired Richie, has inspired every, all of us in the competition there. We both, we all know in the same categories, you know, but all fighting for a good thing to bring to one day, you know. So we're just ready to win. We're glad he started in a good year for us. And we're going to continue what he started and bring it down to December. Well, and so Prince, at the end of the main event, after two minutes, two seconds into round five of the Shadow 12 round title fight for the WBO Super Bantamweight interim title, it's Isaac Godway of Ghana who has won via technical knockout to take the interim title and set up that mandatory challenge against Hesse Magdaleno. Final words. Well, congratulations to uh, the Royal Storm. He promised Ghanaians a world title. He has the interim WBO Super Bantamweight title. The big one is just around the corner. All Magdaleno has to do is to say, yes, I am ready. And that big fight will be on. But he's proved to the whole world that indeed he has come to stay. I have been particularly gracious and respectful of Team Dogbe. They have worked so very hard to ensure that this has come to see the light of the day. I had a one-hour interview with Isaac Dogbe after he fought his last fight. And he told me, Prince, the next time you see me, the announcement will be at the new. He has put that title around his belt and that belt around his waist. He's looking for the bigger one. Congratulations to Team Dogbe. Congratulations to Isaac and his father, Paul. They have indeed not only made themselves proud, but they have made Ghana proud. Well, this will be the enduring image for weeks to come. Isaac Dogbe's fatal left hook. The dangerous left hook that leveled Cesar Juarez and won for him the interim title. So congratulations to Team Dogbe. Um, and then we have one more fight for you. It's one of the undercars which was postponed after the fight. It's Prince Okonate taking on Odate Lamte in the middleweight contest. But for me, well, it's goodbye for now. I've benefited from the knowledge and experience of Frederick Okunka Lawson. Frederick, thank you very much for joining us today. Who is campaigning and all the best. Thank we you. hope that you get close to winning a world title at welterweight level. Soon, sir. So keep watching GH1. We've brought you this landmark groundbreaking coverage from the Puko Boxing Arena. We'll continue to bring you the very best from the world of sports. Keep watching. We have one more fight to come with Prince Okonati against Odate Lamte. And keep watching. But just to wrap things up, we started the night with a few undercards as we built up towards this main event. Michael Dodu faced Daniel Ankonu in the lightweight category. Uh, he won by technical knockout in the third round. And then in the second fight, the legendary, the most experienced referee, Tarnowix. Now, listen, gentlemen, we have the very last fight of the evening. We have a middleweight contest between Prince Okonate and Odate Lamte. Officials for this bout, we have Judge 1, Erasmus O.